Precious cried as her father led her through the gates of the Seventh-day Adventist boarding school in Uganda. Dad, it seems we are lost, she said. This is not the famous school we have always heard of. Let's ask for directions. Maybe the woman coming toward us can help. Precious wanted to study in the beautiful buildings of a popular school she had read about. She didn't want to study at the much more modest buildings of the Adventist primary school. Precious's father heard her cries, but he didn't change his mind. It's not the magnificence of the buildings, but the excellence of the education that matters, my daughter, he said softly in her ear. Precious bit her tongue. She decided to be quiet, but her face showed her unhappiness as her father enrolled her in classes at the school. She would live in the school dormitory and eat at the school cafeteria. When her father waved goodbye at the gate, her tears flowed freely. Why has my beloved dad chosen to imprison me? She blurted out. The woman who had met Precious and her father when they arrived at the gate now approached Precious. Hello, the smiling woman said in a kind voice. Let's go to the dormitory and I'll show you where you will sleep. Precious sadly followed as the woman carried her suitcase to the dormitory. That evening, her heart sank further when she saw children lining up outside an old building. She wondered what was happening until she saw the children carrying plates of food. She realized that this was the school cafeteria. That evening, she ate a vegetarian meal for the first time in her life. Later, Precious heard a bell ringing and saw children running joyfully to the campus chapel for evening worship. She decided to return to the dormitory to rest. But when she reached the dormitory, she found that the doors were locked. She returned to the chapel and stood outside, unsure about what to do. Come, let's enter the house of the Lord, the same smiling woman said. It's time to pray. Don't be sad. The woman spoke so kindly, Precious felt loved, and she entered the chapel. Inside, she heard little children singing in harmony. She had never heard such beautiful music before. After the children sang, someone stood up and spoke about Jesus. Her sadness quickly went away after hearing the singing and the worship talk. At least I will enjoy this part of the school, she thought. When her father returned at the end of the school term, he was surprised when Precious announced that she wanted to return to the school after her vacation. She said she didn't want to miss seeing the kind teachers who began every lesson with prayer and a Bible text. The next semester, the school organized a week of prayer and Precious decided to give her heart to Jesus in baptism. Surely a school is more than its buildings, Precious said, for it was at the school that she found Jesus. <laughs>